all right guys we are back so in the last video we killed shadows and rom and we are gonna head to uh the one reborn split so let's get going hope everything has been well up to this point for you guys remember save files and practice that's what you need to do and you will get better you will get more consistent so once we get to the reborn split, let's see. Um, we are gonna have equipped our blue elixirs and our homeward bones. Um, also something to note is that the first thing that we're gonna do is only for the all bosses run. If you're just running any percent, do not worry about what we're gonna do coming up. But once we go down, we're gonna lock on to this guy and just have him do an attack like we just dodge right past him kill him he dies in two hits and we're gonna go by like right beside the stairs grab these cold blood and we're gonna head down and for this part what you need to do is you need to grab the lamp and go there's no wait time here so you need to grab it and go because these guys will start pathing down the stairs and it can be really scary because they can start throwing stuff at you um, so what you're gonna do is just run down. You're gonna just strafe that guy that shoots and Listen out behind you because he can actually shoot you um, as you're going through the doorway. So Something that I like to do. Let me just go back um, So I strafe him I get my stamina back and I run and I'll like listen for him to shoot and I'll kind of just like Wiggle and I'll just strafe a little bit to one side mainly to the right um, We're gonna drop down and grab the bolt paper and now remember this part that we're going to do right now is only for all bosses. If you're doing any percent, you can skip over what we're going to do now. So if you are doing all bosses, you're going to pop an elixir, grab these chunks, drop down to this little opening, roll, and then go right down. Um, let me go back real quick. So we pop the elixir here on this corner and we're going to grab these chunks. And as we go down here, make sure you try and roll like towards where you're going. And then right at this point, you're going to see that it's kind of like broken off here. It looks kind of like a little ramp. If you go on this part and you drop down, when you drop to get the key, you can do an animation cancel and it'll just grab the key without doing the actual grab animation. Just like that. And then you're going to just uh, hunter's mark out, bold hunter's mark out. And then you'll be back to this lamp. And again, remember, when you get back to this lamp, you just need to run. Like, there's no stopping. There's no waiting here. So we're going to run. Now, this part right here is pretty much what you would do after you fight Rom for the any percent. Um, it looks pretty similar to what we do before when we grab the key. So we're just going to run. See how I strafe over to the right there? Um, you're going to grab those bolt paper drop down but since we already did that we don't have to just remember to pick those up and then this is where the any percent comes in so we're gonna do the same thing elixir and for the any percent we're gonna grab those chunks that we just picked up and we're gonna get our stamina back run from the right all the way to the left and that <laughs> that witch just blocked me but usually you can just path all the way down to the left it's it's not really an issue a lot of people have issues with the the laser part but for the most part it's not that bad and then we're gonna light the lamp and kill this crawler this is gonna be our upgrade material that we're gonna go for um, up to plus nine so bloodstone chunks and here we're gonna have our cocktails out and we're gonna just kind of go on this edge kind of creep up a little bit so that we get a lock on on this guy do a drop attack and kill him and then we're going to throw a cocktail for the dogs, grab this cold blood, and then go down. Um, this guy can be pretty scary. Um, but yeah, that was kind of scary because he shot. But usually you can just go straight around and it's no problem. Um, I did switch to strat up recently. So I don't actually do all of what I'm doing now. But for the purposes of the video, we're going to go with this. Um, and then maybe I'll make a, a secondary video later of this part. But we're gonna go down let's go back a little bit so once we go through here and we open the door uh you need to make sure you roll just in case because there's a guy that could be chasing you 
and then you're just gonna go straight down the stairs you can see his sword as he just came down and then we're gonna just drop straight down and throw a cocktail for that wolf and then we're gonna go in here uh, those are these are uh, more cold blood that you can pick up you don't have to but if you want they're there for you just for extra echoes and then we're gonna grab this cold blood here and then this is our other upgrade material and then we're gonna head back out and just be kind of careful make sure you have enough cocktails for this area too if you need to go back and, and go to the lamp and go back to hunter stream you can so we're gonna throw another cocktail there and then run back to where we were this is the same part where we threw the first one and we're gonna go up the left side and then in this opening here and for this part just sprint do not do anything different just sprint if you just sprint he won't get you he'll never hit you you're completely fine and then we're gonna grab the last upgrade material for this little part here uh, this is where Parl is it's just a safe spot to to bold hunters mark out just in case and you're safe and you're good to go um, I definitely will make an alternative video of what I do now. It's a lot faster. There's a lot less things that you need to do. Um, the only difference is that your weapon is uh, plus seven. And I believe in this, we get a plus eight weapon. So then we're going to go back here. And do the same thing. So we're going to drop down. Make sure you get a lock on to this guy down here. Drop on him. Kill him. And throw that cocktail this dude that shoots has ended so many runs he's very scary but yeah what I just did is usually what will happen and it'll be safe for the most part so now we're gonna run past these guys uh, both of them can chase you outside of this door what I like to do for this dude is to try and get him to an to do an attack and then we just run straight out and then I turn my camera around as I'm running just to make sure they're not behind me because we need to kill this dude right here. So once he dies, we're safe. We can turn left and go in here. This is going to be our elevator. It's going to be our shortcut for later. And we're going to take it up a little bit and turn back around. And then there's a little drop that you can go on. And there's two dogs here. If you just throw a cocktail, you're fine. And we're just going to go in. Go here to this little teleporter thing. And we're going to go get our last little bit of stuff for this area. So let's fast forward. Okay, so once we come out, we're going to turn left. There's an opening. And you're just going to creep. You're not going to hold up on the controller. You're just going to creep by because there's a wolf that's right here. Um, and then that item right there. I don't know if I pick it up or not, but it's blood vials. You obviously can pick it up if you need it. Okay, so we do pick it up. So there's six there. And you're just going to creep here. Creep, creep, creep. All the way through this doorway. And what we're picking up is our a gem for our weapon to make it stronger. And there's an enemy here. Wait for him to shoot and then go after him. Because he can definitely shoot you. So just be careful there. And then we're going to go down. Throw a cocktail. There's a wolf here. Switch to our bold hunter's marks. Grab our gem and then we're out of there. So let's fast forward. And then once we get back to this lamp, uh, which was the second one that you got in this area, we're going to go back to Hunter's Dream. And then let me just go back here. So once we go back, we're going to go to the first lamp that we got in this area. Let's go through the load screens. And then once we do this, we're going to sit right here at this pillar. Because if you notice, uh, let me see if I can try and pause it. Do you see this guy right here? Sometimes he'll just walk with the other group, but like most of the time that I've noticed is that he'll just sit here and he can shoot you. So what I do is I take advantage of this time and I just pop all of the cold blood that I have. So that's what we're doing now. And he'll just walk away. So he'll never do anything to you. He'll just walk. And the reason we're coming down here is because there's our last upgrade material right here, which is a bloodstone chunk. So that should get us to plus eight. And then we're just going to jog back to the lamp. Okay. All right. 
Once we're at the Hunter's Dream, we're going to go and upgrade our weapon. So now we have a plus eight weapon and we're going to put the gym on. So what I did was upgrade a plus eight and I switched the gym that we had for the Shadows fight. This is the one that we got in Yargul, or I'm sorry, uh, before Old Yarnum where the wolf is. We just switched that one to the new one that we got and you can see our damage went up. So we're just going to throw that one on. And remember this, this part right here that we're going to do. I don't know if I told you, but this is for the all bosses um, for what we're going to do at this point. So I'm just selling things just to clean up my inventory a little bit. Again, it's not 100% necessary. And what I do is I buy the cane because we're going to kill an enemy through the door um, in Upper Cathedral for the all bosses part, not for any percent. If you're just doing any percent, skip over this. You don't have to worry about it. But if you are on all bosses, you're going to go to Cathedral Ward. Let's skip over the load screen. And we're going to go to that shortcut on the right. And remember, we sent this elevator back down. So we're going to use it. And for this part, we're going to pop an elixir as soon as the elevator gets up. And the reasoning for that is because there's a guy outside that can shoot at you and he's really scary. So I kind of came up with this to make it a little bit safer. And what we're going to do is we're going to creep around and we're going to kill this dude and this guy. And then we see that that guy just shot. Uh, let me go back so you can see. So if you'll notice uh, on this corner here, like right here, you'll see the gunshot happening. And that's how you know it's safe to run. So let's go back so you can see it. Oh, never mind. I'll show you exactly where it is. Sorry, I just want you to see exactly where he shoots. So he shoots right here in this area. And you'll see the animation happen. Just like that, if you can see it. Um, also, if you go back and watch my actual run, you'll hear it as well. So then once we get past there, we're going to go up this ladder. Uh, there, there could be a troll that comes over from that side, but if you have the elixir on, you're completely fine. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to kill wheelchair boy in one hit. This guy right here dies in two. And then one hit for wheelchair boy. And then what we're grabbing is in this chest right here. This is a badge, the radiant sword badge. Pick up any items that they drop. It just helps out later for the Miko fight. But again, if you're just doing any percent, you can just buy the things that we're just picking up here. It's not really much, um, but it helps out a little bit. So then we're gonna run up the stairs, grab this blue elixir. This is an elixir that we're gonna use for uh, some upgrade material later. And then we go right down these stairs because there's two guys right here on this bridge. And the safest way I found to get by them is let them path all the way down so that you're open and you can just run straight through. So I'm just waiting here. And then once they get down, you're just gonna run. So we're running all the way through. And we're gonna grab the lamp here. Okay, what we have equipped is blood cocktails and our bold hunters marks. And if you are doing the any percent, you should have two bold hunters marks at this point. And you're gonna use you're gonna use one now and one later. So this guy, um, let me go back so you can see him. So what he does like 99% of the time is he'll point at you and then he'll start to do an attack. But for some reason, he's a little weird because you can parry him before his attack animation. It's very, very strange. So just be careful, kind of keep a little distance because he could quick swipe you and he's he's very, very fast. Um, also, if you're going to go for the parry for him, make sure you're not on the stairs. So you're going to just shoot him. He's up on the platform so that you can get the visceral. And then you can either kill him or just run by him. Uh, sometimes he'll he'll block you in the door and you can just you can kill him in like one or two hits. So now we have the cane. So this is what we're going to use it for. We're going to do an up R2, which does a jump animation like this so that we can hit this guy through the door. Um, and then he'll come closer to us. And then we get our saw cleaver out and extend it and then just do a charged R2 on him. Now, those blue attacks that he was doing can hit you through the door. 
and let me just go back a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So once we aggro him, as you can see, he does these attacks. I always go to the side because they can go through the door. It's a grab. So it kind of puts this ring around you that doesn't do any damage, but it's a stagger from an enemy. Uh, it's something that could have been avoided. So it counts as a hit. So just kind of go over to the side a little bit just to be safe. And then he'll come over to you and you just pretty much kill him with, I believe three or four hits. And that's all we need the cane for. So now we're going to go back and what he gave us was the key to get to the next part that we're going to. So we're going to run all the way down, uh, right down these stairs. And right before we get to the very bottom, we're going to throw a cocktail because there's wolves that drop down. So that will distract them. We're going to grab these right here. These are uh, ritual blood. They sell for a lot of echoes, So definitely pick those up. And then we're going to open this door. We're gonna grab these cold blood, open the shortcut. Once we open the shortcut, we are going to bold hunters mark out. What I usually do is I just wait until I see the door animation start, just so I know that it's safe to open the shortcut. I, I've i never been in a situation where it wasn't open, but just to be safe, I always wait just to see. Okay, so now, what I'm doing right now while I'm walking up here is I'm setting up for the next part. So I'm putting blood cocktails, bolt paper that we picked up in Yargul and beast blood pellets. And then we go back in here and you don't run. You just kind of jog through this little opening. And then there's a guy that'll be walking this brain sucker. Um, don't go too fast because he can aggro while you're grabbing this item, which is the cosmic eye watcher badge. So this unlocks um, beast blood pellets that you can buy uh, in the insight workshop remember I was telling you earlier that you can get um, pungent blood cocktails and the blood shards so now we have blue elixirs that we can buy and um, beast blood pellets which are really really useful so once we're done with that we're gonna pop the the cold blood that we got and we're going to sell the ritual blood. You see, you get 30,000, sell the cane and we're good to go. Now we're going to level up and remember what I was telling you about the levels. Just remember for any percent, your skill goes to 25. Everything else goes to strength. Remember that don't get confused. Skill 25, everything else to strength. Your any percent should end when you get to nurse, you should have between 40 and 43 strength. But if you are doing all bosses, your strength goes to 30 and the rest goes to skill up to 50, okay? So just remember that. So we have 32 skill now. Uh, you'll usually have between 30 and 32. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna buy um, blue elixirs. We make sure that we have three. And then I like to just dump all my insight. So blue elixirs, beast blood pellets, like, bolt paper, uh, blood cocktails. Those are like the main things that you're gonna buy from the Insight Shop. So I always like to have zero when I can um, and just have those for later. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the first, the first lamp that we got. And remember this guy can kind of sit here, so we need to wait and make sure he's not being crazy. So then he just goes away. And then we go down these stairs, drop through this opening here. And remember, we have that gym on the full health gym. So we kill this guy. Remember, we have a plus eight weapon, so we're pretty strong. And just be careful with these dudes. Just make sure you kill them. Uh, you can grab this helm right here. It sells for a little bit of echoes later on. Make sure that you brought the elevator back up. Don't just run down. And throw the cocktail for the dogs. This is all the same stuff that we were doing before. And then we're going to go through the portal. Okay. So now that we come out, instead of going left, we're going to go straight. And what I did there was I took off the cocktails because you don't need them for this fight. And you're just going to run straight down. Don't worry about those enemies. Don't worry about anything. Just run straight down and drop down here. Nothing is going to hit you. Nothing is aggroed here. So you're good. Um, a good rule of thumb is if you just go into the fight and go left just to make sure 
that no no enemies are there and then you're gonna heal full remember that make sure you see that little that little symbol there and then let me just go back so once we go in here we're gonna sprint all the way to the back here now you can see for your mile markers this vase there's an opening right back there so don't get confused and try and turn in early you know so now what I'm doing is I'm running through. We skip the first bell lady and we're going to kill the second one. And that's just part of the strategy. You can, you can get hit by reborn, but what we're doing is we're making him kind of go in circles so that he's confused. So we kill the second and the third, we go across the bridge and now we're going to kill the first and the second one. And then this is where things get a little scary. You got to make sure you have enough stamina for this part. So we're going to kill this one. Reborn's going to come up. He's going to look like he's going to do something crazy. Just run right by him. Um, that is probably a part where someone could get hit. But for the most part, you should be safe. Just again, safe fouls in practice. And now his positioning is a little further than I'd like. So I'd like to wait for him to shoot at least once or twice here. But he shoots like little blood stuff at you just like that and use the pillars so that he doesn't um hit you beside them and then we're gonna buff with bolt paper we're gonna use our beast blood pellets that light that you saw is an aoe and then we're gonna come in r1 l1 and he staggers and you're gonna hit his limbs you're gonna r1 l1 his limbs so that he staggers and he pretty much just unlocks the whole time so see our beast meter going up and then what I like to do on the tail is I like to charge R2 and then do an L1. Now my meter's full and you just R1 and just hit his big limbs and he'll just stagger just like that. And that's the whole fight. Easy peasy. Now we're getting ready for the next area. We're going to put elixirs and our cocktails on. So we're ready to go. So yeah, that, that fight is pretty easy i'd say the area is harder to get through than the fight again i'll make another video just a side video to show you how i do the split now um it's it's definitely a lot faster it's a lot safer as well but this strat is something that i've used for quite a long time um and really the only dangerous thing is to look out for is to uh get past those npcs and that dude that shoots the gun so we'll make a new video and i'll explain how i do it but for now you can do it that way um so what we did was after we get the lamp make sure you get this and then we're gonna go through this door we're just gonna go straight out and we're gonna open this door here and we're gonna grab sedatives these are used for later for frenzy and i'll explain it when we get there and then just run straight out there's a guy that falls he'll never do anything to you just run out don't get surprised. He, he won't touch you at all. It looks scary, but it's not. Get your stamina back. Just run past these dudes. And then you're going to get your stamina back a little bit. And then there's a guy that's going to pop out in the opening. This part, you'll never get hit on. It's very consistent. Nothing really happens there. Um, for the any percent, you don't really need to even grab that lamp, to be honest. It's really only for all bosses because you're going to come back there later. So just remember that. All right, load screens, always fun in this game. So now we're gonna run out, we're gonna get our cocktails ready. Remember we have cocktails and blue elixirs. And there's a guy right there, you see him with the torch. And all you're gonna do is just go here. So see the positioning I'm in and I'm throwing it high right before this little bush thing. That's what I usually go by. So we're just gonna throw it for him. And then we're going to kill this crawler that's here. So we just R1 this crawler. He should die pretty fast. And we're still getting upgrade material for uh, our plus nine. And we run up. We grab this cold blood. Again, that lamp right there. You don't need it. You can get it if you want. But you don't need to. Now, as you can see, what's happening now is that there is a big brain thing that's up here. You can't really see it but it's shooting like little frenzy things at you. If you notice this meter here, and this is this is another question that I've gotten a lot is, 
If you get this frenzy, it's a hit. Well, this meter counts as a warning. Once it fills up, your health drains a lot. Like it'll drain quite a bit of your health. So this is just a warning. This is not a hit. So when, when you see this happening, don't worry, you're okay. This is not a no damage run. If this was a no damage run, then it would be a little bit different. So now we're gonna go here. We're gonna throw a cocktail on that little skull thing. I don't know what you want to call it. It's the pile of skulls. And we're just going to run straight through. Easy peasy. Just like that. And we're going to just go straight to the door. These guys, they usually will throw rocks. Um, but a good thing to get in the habit of is turning your camera around. Because they can they can dunk you. They can just jump up and try and dunk you. But like 99% of the time, this is the type of RNG you'll get. And I usually will just roll just in case. So we're gonna go in, go right up the stairs, and then where the spider is, curve left, drop down, and go up these stairs. Uh, now there's an NPC on this bridge. The only thing you really need to do is make sure you have stamina. So notice my stamina is full, then we just use it. You go to the right and just curve left. So just like that, very, very easy. So when you see him, you're gonna go up, just like that and then a sharp left and he'll never hit you very very easy to get by um, a lot of people will think he's like the hardest thing to get by but he's very very easy to do so now we're just heading down we're gonna go behind this mirror now this is a good example of what could happen is that this dude can just block your way they're very passive for the most part but they can attack so just wait for him to get out of your way and then we're gonna use an elixir grab these these are more elixirs that you get and we're just gonna drop down. This knight will never do anything to you. Uh, this part can be pretty scary. I've seen a lot of runs die, including myself. So I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go back. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this part. You can run around here. Uh, let me see if I can go back so I can show you. Let's see. Uh, okay, so you can run through here and around and get the elevator or you can go behind here and around you can swerve around but the main thing you want to worry about is that there's two archers over here and if you notice when i swerved and i went in here let's see if i can pause it you see this right here that was a shot that just came out look how close it was to me so i think i prefer to go around this way and kind of just wait here until they shoot because the chick or the knight, whatever it is, can never touch you back here. So I like to just wait right here and then go in the elevator. I think that's a lot safer. I was actually surprised there. That was really scary. But once you get up there, just, just practice what's safe for you. Um, and once you, once you find out what works for you, then you're going to just go over here. Sometimes you can fit through here. Sometimes you won't. I always say, like, how thick am I today? And we get through and then for this part we're jumping into the cage all you do is run um there's a dog that can be here a crow dog it's a like a crow with a dog head all you do is just run off you don't jump you don't roll you just run off if it's there you run off you land on it you are one it to death and that's it that's all you need to do it, it won't do anything to you you'll never get hit by it you're gonna grab this gym and then you're gonna throw a cocktail down for them just in case. I do that just in case anything crazy happens. And then you're gonna go grab the shortcut right here. So it just goes down. And then something cool that you can do is just kind of wait out here for a second. And the brain will actually kill an enemy here and give you about 1700 echoes. So it's really nice, it's a good added little bonus. And as you can see, we got 1,702. And then we're gonna get this lamp that's here and go back to Hunter Stream. Okay. So once we're back in Hunter Stream, we are going to level up. Um, so it looks like I have 35. That was bad pausing on my part. So yeah, it looks like we have 35 skill and 30 strength. If you're doing any percent, you're going to have 25, 25 skill and whatever strength you have. I don't actually remember my stats for these. All I know is that by the time I get to nurse, 
Before the nurse fight, I have 25 skill and between 40 to 43 strength. Um, and you can always just go watch my any percent run just to see. But for this, this sake and purposes, we're doing all bosses in this particular run that we're watching. So we have 35 skill. Um, I'm just selling things. Do not sell that gym that you just picked up, by the way. And we're getting knives. So remember I said I like to have 20 knives and 10 Molotovs for this fight. And all you're going to do is change the, the gym that gave you that little symbol for full health. You're going to change that one with the new one that we picked up. And then remember, I like to get rid of all my insights. So we just buy these main things here. So Beast Blood Pellet, um, Elixirs. And I like to have a good amount of, of uh, blood cocktails. For the any percent, you don't have to worry about blood cocktails. You're not going to have very many buffs for the next fights. Uh, Miko, Mikolash, I believe you have two or three. I think you have three bolt paper. So I guess what you could do is buy more fire paper because it's available. I believe the radiant badge that we picked up. Well, actually, you won't need that, so don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about buffs. Just just know what you'll have. You'll have some beast blood pellets and a few uh, a few bolt paper and I think one fire paper for nurse. And that's all you'll need. So now we got the shortcut and we're going to run in here. We're going to fight Mikolash now. So there's going to be a cutscene that plays. And there's going to be a skelly boy that pops up right here. Don't worry about him. This item here is uh, some bullets. And what I like to do for this skeleton is R1, R1, and then L1, and he dies. You just turn over to the side and L1, and he's dead. And then we just R1 this one. Um, just be careful with them, because they, they can do really crazy things. Uh, if you shoot them, they fall over. And I didn't even care about this dude. You really don't need to worry about him, to be honest. And then, if, as you can see, our pathing that we did for Miko. Uh, let me just go back here. So what we did when we ran in, we went straight through. And we went up here. We grabbed this item. Now, at this point, you could get what's called, like, really good RNG. Where Mikolash won't run up these stairs. He'll actually run in here. So you don't have to chase him all the way around. Um, but you do need to kill this Skelly. So as you can see, R1, R1, L1. He did run up here, which is what what will happen like most of the time. So we kill this one. If you ever run out of stamina or don't kill the skeleton, just remember that you can always back up and shoot them and they'll fall over. Um, but they're really crazy. They they can hit you a lot. So you just got to be careful um, and see how they like move around and stuff. So I just shot them and just kill them. You can parry them, but just, just be really careful. And then you're going to go to... The middle of this doorway he's gonna walk to the corner and he will start walking over towards you and you're gonna go right back out here and what you're gonna do is buff with bolt paper and beast blood pellet and you're gonna notice he walks over to the left that's when i walk in so put that on he goes over to the left so we're gonna r1 l1 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 so two full transformation attacks get your stamina back and r2 so let me just go back so you can see what i did so we did r1 l1 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 we got our stamina back we brought our weapon back r1 l1 r or l1 sorry i know it gets confusing so we go back to a close positioning for our weapon and then we charge our to him so that his health gets less than 50 percent so this next part doesn't take too too long and then once we do that, he moves and we go out, go to the right and up those stairs. And then we go down these stairs here. And we're going to kill this lizard or crawler. It's going to give us some more upgrade material. And this is good to do with your buff because then you don't, you don't have to worry about it running all the way down. So you're going to get those blood vials there. And I like to wait for this enemy to do this attack right here. Because he doesn't have like a follow up. And then we're gonna go to this pillar right here, right before this enemy. So you see this pillar? We're gonna go here, he's gonna shoot. And I always roll, you don't really have to, but I always do just in case. 
And then we just go past him, go up these stairs. Now again, there's something that he could do, which is for this strat, it's really good for us because then it won't take super long. But what he'll do is he'll go left here instead of going up these stairs. Um, but most of the time, this is his pathing that he'll do. And I'll tell you the difference once we get there. So we're just going to kill the skelly. That was actually really scary. He almost got me. So see, you just shoot him. And I just run right past him. And then we go down, head to the right. We're going to grab this item. This is just some upgrade uh, souls that we have. Some cold blood. And then we're going to put on our Molotovs. As you can see, I only have four Molotovs. I like to have ten, but for this particular run, I only had four. And Molotovs make you move forward, if you can see why I'm backing up all the time. See how it kind of pushes you forward. So I like to stay at this line right here. Like right by that line. And then now we do our throwing knives. So what I do is a combination of throwing knife and uh, bullets. So as you can see, we just did our blood bullets. And yep, yeah, we're just going to get his health down. The reason I do this is because I'm very bad at the drop attack um, that we're going to do in a minute. And fighting him in the room is really scary because he can do a lot of different attacks, which is the room that he's trying to run through that will shut down and you have to drop on him on another spot. Uh, he can do a call of beyond, which is what I told you that NPC can do before rom which he shoots like magic stuff out and it homes in on you and it's it's really crazy so what i like to do is i like to get his health really really low and that's why i use throwing knives and bullets and the difference with him going straight up like i was saying or going left is after you hit him he'll do like a little a little stagger like he does but he won't move from that spot so you can just spam him a lot faster and then instead of having him come through the mirror every time but this is pretty much what I do. I just go between blood bullets, my bullets, throwing knives, and I get his health really low. So we'll just speed it up a little bit. I know it, it takes a while. I get it. Like, I know that there's a lot of faster strats, but this is what works for me. It's it's consistent. Uh, it's kind of a nice breather, especially if you move to like the optional stuff and everything. It kind of just, you kind of get to just chill and not have to really worry about much. You can talk to chat if you're streaming or whatever it is you need to do. So as you can see his name, so once I get it to around this point, um, even a little bit lower, like between the, the O and the L, like because he doesn't really have that much health at, at that point, but around this point is where you can get ready. So you extend your weapon. And what I like to do is I like to look at this corner here and you're gonna just go off and roll once you clear this part right here is when you're going to push R1. If you do it early, you're going to clip this ledge and you're going to land back here and you're going to miss him. And as you can see, I did miss him. Um, but basically how the strat works is you roll, you drop down, and then you roll uh, and get in the doorway. So I did it wrong because again, I'm really bad at this and that's why I bring his health super low. But what you do is you're gonna roll, uh, you're gonna roll, you're gonna drop on him, you're gonna smash him down, roll into the doorway, and what he'll do is he'll try and run in the doorway, but you're blocking it. And you can do two attacks until he will attack you. So what's good to do is you can charge up an R2, hit him with that, charge up another one, do some transformation attacks and kill him. Uh, there's a chance that he can back up and, and do all crazy stuff. So I like to do it like this just because it feels safe for me. But again, whatever works for you, works for you. Um, you can always practice to get better at the drop. And that is the Mikolash fight. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the video now and I'm just gonna start another one right after this. So thank you for watching. That was One Reborn and Mikolash. Um, so far so good. So we're gonna knock out the any percent after this and we will be right back. So stay tuned. Just kidding, because it's the end of the video and this is not Twitch and it's YouTube. So goodbye.